This is not just any old dog. He has an incredible story of survival that comes with a tearful, happy ending. This impressive walrus is Wally, and he's a Tibetan Mastiff. Before we go any further, I am very excited, and I would just like to say that this is my first famous dog. You're going to take all the shampoo that I have in my shop. <laughs> his owners drove over eight hours to see me in the hopes that I could save his double coat. If you want to learn more about the famous Wally, you can check out his channel linked in the description. Wally was named after the Great Wall of China because that's where he was found by his new forever family. Husband and wife, Abby and Cliff, were on holiday checking out one of the seven wonders of the world when they came across an emaciated and neglected dog in a cage. Can you imagine trying to maintain this dog at home? No way. <laughs> Are you even wet under there? Oh my god, honey, he's not wet. This constant sitting is going to be impossible for me to get you dry. I soaked everything, and it's bone dry under there. Yeah, we're going to be here for five hours. And we were in fact here for five hours. <laughs> I needed a larger volume of water, so Wally got the watering can. You are something else, man. How am I going to rinse this dog? Back to Wally's story. Abby and Cliff immediately called a local animal rescue for help. They managed to get Wally and ship him to the United States to be with the people who found him. Now Wally lives the high life where his owners are willing to drive eight hours just to get him groomed. Not a big fan of standing. Standing's not your thing. Up here, ready? Up, up. Good boy. Before I start his blow dry, I'm using my 10 blade to shave out some of the severe matting that's in his back end. And using my knee, I'm attempting to keep him standing. Here. Cool. Oh, yeah, I gotta shave it before we start drying. It's pointless. When Wally was rescued, his coat was a solid cast all over his body. While he is a double coated dog and they shouldn't be shaved, it was determined that the only humane thing that could be done was to shave him. The problem with this is that it also damaged his coat. In addition to that, Wally was very underweight when he was rescued. I'm sure that malnutrition also played a huge role in the quality of his adult coat. All of this combined has made for a very difficult coat to care for at home. Most Tibetan Mastiffs blow their coat twice a year, and it's generally pretty easy to comb it all out. Wally's coat doesn't shed properly, making it very difficult to maintain, and also making Wally overheat very easily. All this matted coat also weighs him down, causing him to have some mobility issues. He didn't seem to like when the blow dryer got close to his ears. The owner warned me that he didn't like having his ears touched. So I thought maybe the happy hoodie wouldn't make him very happy. But as it turned out, he was much happier to have his ears covered from the wind. The Tibetan Mastiff can weigh anywhere from 70 to 150 pounds. Surprisingly agile with their giant size and heavy coats, these dogs are fierce, protective, aloof with strangers, extremely territorial, and dedicated to protecting their families. No one really knows for sure what their original purpose was, as they are one of the world's most ancient breeds. These dogs do not respond well to traditional training, and they are not food motivated. They will always follow their instincts over any training. 
They often do not have great recall and shouldn't be trusted off of leash. Unless raised with other pets, they don't usually play well with others. Although they do need daily exercise, they much prefer patrolling their property at their own pace as opposed to going for walks or hikes. Basically, these dogs prefer to stay home and be on guard. Watch closely as I blow dry him and how difficult it is to see his skin, if at all. That's a pretty good indication of how badly matted his coat is. After two hours, I didn't feel that it was necessary for the dog to endure any more blow drying. Unfortunately, because of how matted his coat was, it was extremely difficult to get him fully dry. I had to make the call that I didn't want to make. Okay, bud. Unfortunately, there is no saving this. What can we do? I started shaving his coat with a number four blade, as I'd like to keep some hair to protect his skin from the sun. So matting, all of it, every part of it. Some parts were more matted than others, so I had to use a combination of a number seven and a number 10 blade in order to get through his coat. There is just no way that this was getting brushed out. There is just, there is no way. That's not humane. <laughs> Honey, it's a lot of dirt in there. No, I cleaned it first. Nice. It's clean hair. That's true. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> Take a, <it's> like a... <laughs> This was one of the most difficult jobs I've done. But believe it or not, it was a lot of fun and very rewarding. Even if my back doesn't agree. So, um, my back is broken. I think I slept in until 11 a.m. the next day because I was so dead. But I guess, who needs the gym, am I right? Wally refused to stand up for this whole service, obviously making this a lot more difficult for me to work on him. I kept him low on the grooming table just in case he tried to jump off. I didn't want him to be high enough off the ground where he could have injured himself. Unfortunately for me, this meant a lot of bending over. It also meant that his haircut would come out a bit choppy, as I wasn't able to stretch his skin in many places in order to get a smooth cut. In combination with that, I also had to use a lot of different length blades in order to get all of his pelt off. Once I removed all of his matting, I blow dried his coat a little bit more and then I went back over him to smooth out his coat. Do with me what you will. As long as I can sleep. <laughs> In total, his haircut took two hours. That meant the entire duration of his groom was five hours, just like I predicted. Because of all of you who watch my channel, I was able to provide this groom, as well as all future grooms, at no cost to the owners. If you'd like to support my work, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'm sure Wally feels like a whole new man, and I loved watching him do his happy walk in my yard. He has some really adorable videos on his channel of him being rescued and loved by his family, as well as him hanging out with his little human siblings, so be sure to check it out. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed The Great Wall of Wally Fur.